Bitch, I'm big time. 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 And I have been waiting five and a half months for this moment and I'm very excited and I basically brought the console home, put it aside, went to bed so I can get up early today, unbox it and wait for my original Zelda delivery. But today we're going to do an unboxing together and I, I'm, I'm really excited, let's just get into it. Um, straight off the bat, this box is just absolutely beautiful. It's really not that big, it's sort of halfway between um, the console and the handheld. And just the artwork and the aesthetic of it is absolutely beautiful. It's got a really nice matte finish too. Got the console, all the different modes of play. That side as well. And then a nice shot of the Joy-Con group and the docked console. Down the bottom, we got all the contents that we're gonna get which is a Switch console, a Joy-Con left, a Joy-Con right, Joy-Con straps, the HDMI, a Nintendo Switch dock, a Joy-Con grip, and a Nintendo Switch AC adapter. Everything I need to get started. There really is nothing better than unboxing a brand new console. We sort of only get this once every few years, so... Oh, I'm very excited. And some instructions, two steps. Plug it in, set it up. And there you have it, Switch and the Joy-Con. And this thing is even smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Holy shit. There's the Switch. Joy-Con right, Joy-Con left, there's my Joy-Con strap, and the matching pair. Joy-Con grip. Nintendo Switch dock. It's got a really nice matte textured finish uh, with the logo and gloss. Just really classy. This could not be more <laughs> opposite than what the Wii U was. It just really feels like a piece of really nice tech and not a toy. It's a nice change. HDMI and AC adapter. And that's it. The entire console is located in this unit here. One and a half times the size of my mobile phone. Switch logo on the back. Kickstand for tabletop mode. Works really well. Game card slot. Power. Volume. Let's see if we can put this together. Joy-Con fits really nicely in the palm of your hand. Feels really ergonomic. Texture of the console is really nice too. It doesn't look like it's going to get too, um, too many fingerprint marks. The right one feels just as good as well. Buttons are well spaced out. Sticks have a nice resistance to them. Rubber feels good. Let's see if we can do this. Hopefully you guys can do this.
And that's it. That's a completed switch in handheld. Really comfortable. The weight is good. It's, it's got a little bit of heft to it, but it's definitely light enough for me to sort of play this all day. Buttons feel nice. Shoulder buttons are well spaced out and feel really good. Now, let's try docking this. That's it. Um, let's try the joy con grip. Yeah, again, this feels pretty good. Sticks are in good place. Buttons feel nice. Feels a little small, but I think that's something I could probably get used to. Size comparison, here's my uh, PlayStation 4, DualShock 4. Just to really show you guys how small the console is, here's my Apple iPad Mini 2. console is about three quarters of the size of it and probably about twice as thick. It's crazy to believe that all that power, everything is just tucked away in this tiny little unit. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited. I'm going to go set this up and I'm going to get started. But as soon as Legend of Zelda rocks up in the post, I will be doing an unboxing of my limited edition as well. So, for me, I see boy big time. Out. Peace. Bitch, I'm, 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 bitch, I'm